unbeaten fighters and major performers. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm here with Natasha Jonas. Tell me about your seventh round win over the Haji. Um, there isn't much to say. I mean, um, I, I, I thought I boxed well at times. Um, I was slowed down when I didn't really need to. Um, but I knew I had power in my shots, and I was just trying to get the power shots off, and I was looking for it, and looking for it, and looking for it, which which wasn't the game plan. So I didn't really stick to the game plan, but I got the power shot off in the end, and you know she, she couldn't recover in time. That seventh round, that was a that was a bit of a bit of a war, wasn't it? That one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you um, feel when you're in that situation? Do you do, do you enjoy it, or are you just thinking to land a shot? Are you thinking tactical, or does it all go out the window and you just scrap and fight? No, you're thinking tactical. I, um, I was just waiting a little bit too long, and I, I know I've got the power, and that's sometimes my downfall because I'm, I'm I'm waiting for the power shot to get it off and get it off, and you know, in the meantime, I'm getting caught with a little silly shot. So, but yeah. Um, no, I, I was, you know, I, I, you don't even hear the, you don't hear the crowd, you don't hear nothing. And I'm, I'm just thinking about what I've done in training, and trying to get it off. And how does it feel to hold the shiny belt? Does that feel good? It feels really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I got a massive reception from the from the Liverpool crowd, and it was just it was heartwarming to be honest. And you know, it's nights like that for why I got back into boxing. And it's special. Does, did uh, you and Joe Gallagher sit and specifically work on this plan, or did the fight just play out and then you adapted to what happened earlier when he was in there, or did you go for a specific plan? Do you see what I mean, or did you react to? No, um, I think there was there was very very little of of, of it on on YouTube, right, yeah, but what yeah. we did, the snippets that we did see. Joe was, 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 he was right in every way and saying, you know, she's got this this long, lazy jab, you know, she's got this sweeping by hand and, um, and yeah, I, 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 I was like, I was trying to enforce my um, my strengths at the start, but I was a bit too slow to react to her backhand and I was a bit, I was just, just missing by a split second and as she got tired and tighter and then went on. It's, it started to play into my hands. Yeah, because previously when I interviewed you, I said that when I know when I look at your style, I sort of see that the power and you, you've, you've got a dig to your style. You don't sort of dance around. You you, you imply uh, get your shots to the target. Uh, are you going forward? Are fans looking to expect sort of like KOs, power focused, or are we just going to see what the what each fight be? Because you're getting a little bit of a reputation as a little power as, as like a power punch. Yeah, I, I don't ever go out looking for that. I know it's there, and sometimes, like I said before, that's me downfall because I'm waiting, and waiting, and waiting for the opening because I know once I do catch someone clean, that it's gonna hurt and it, it's gonna take them a little time to recover and it's just them split seconds. As you've seen, I got, got another two shots off which, which it ultimately ended the fight and sometimes I'm just waiting that little bit too long but no, I don't go out looking for the power shot. I've been working on actually throwing more shots right, and okay, yeah. pun, um, in bunches and I just didn't get that off tonight. I think she was a bit a bit slicker than I give her credit for with her feet and her arms were a bit longer than, than, than I, than I was thinking they was, so it took me a while to get into it, but yeah. You know, I, on a couple of rounds, I'd actually give to her. Uh, yeah, yeah. Atmosphere was good, and you enjoy going out fighting in that big atmosphere. Of course, it Do, must be a great feeling, yeah. Yeah, brilliant feeling, and, and uh, yeah, I just love I love boxing at home, I love boxing in the pool, and you know, I've got this for them, and my little girl, and my mum, and my dad, and all the sacrifices I've made, it makes it all worth it. And what have you got to say to all your fans, fans out there? All the, Team Team Jones. Jones. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I love you. Keep keep supporting me. It's this big night ahead. Um, and thank you, thank you for all the love and support throughout my amateur and professional career that I've got so far. And please stick with me because the journey is an over. Thank you very much for speaking to Wingy Boxing IFL TV. I'll let you go and enjoy your win. Thank Congratulations, you. thank nice you. Nice one. Three rounds, three minutes, three fights. Unbeaten fighters and major performers, I can't tell you how excited I am about this.